Okay, uh, in the last video, we talked a little bit about the fundamental counting principle, and we applied it to just some pretty basic examples. We want to continue with that in this video, and up on the top, we have enumerated what the what encompasses the uh, fundamental counting principle. Say that we have a task to do, we'll call it T1, and there's more than one ways to perform the task. There's, we'll call them N number one, number of ways. Same thing for T2, T3, T4, all the way on out to our final task. So let's say that we perform task T1 in N1 number of ways, and then when we finish, we perform task T2, and so forth, until we get to our final task. And if we want to know, well, how many different ways can we perform all these tasks? Then it's just simply N1 times N2 times N3 times N4 all the way out to N sub N. And really, in a simplest form, that's the fundamental counting principle. Let's use it to solve this kind of a problem. Say that we have four letters, A, B, C, and D, None of them are repeated, so they're all distinct. We want to know how many different ways can we arrange these letters. We could have it, of course, like this. Or we could have... And so forth. We want to know how many different ways total can we arrange these letters without having to sit here and go through every arrangement. So, let's think of this now in terms of the counting principle. We'll go back to our four original letters here, A, B, C, D. And let's think of it like this. Suppose we have an empty rectangle. And another one. So we have four empty rectangles. We want to place a letter inside of each one. Each one has to have a different letter now. And the order of the letters matters as well. So let's just say task T1, that's just uh, pick letter pick letter for the first triangle, the first rectangle. That's the first task. The second task, pick letter for the second rectangle. And the third task is pick a letter for the third rectangle. And T4 is to, of course, pick a letter for the fourth and last rectangle. Okay, so we're going to perform task T1, and then T2, and T3, and T4, like this. Now, so for task T1, we have to select a letter. Um, how many choices do we have? Well, there's A, B, C, D. So we have four choices or four different ways that we can perform task T1. Now once we've selected one of the letters, say we're going to select B and put that into our first rectangle then. Now when it comes to performing task T2, there's three letters to choose from. So now we have three different ways to perform task T2. And let's say that we select D. Now for task T3, so we've done task T1, performed task T2, now we're on to T3, and we have two letters to choose from, so we have two ways of performing task T3. And let's say that we select A. And by the time we get down to task T4, 
we only have one letter left to choose from, so of course there's only one way to do it. Now the fundamental counting principle tells us that the total number of ways that we can perform these tasks is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 4 factorial, which of course equals, you can see from here, that equals 24. So the total number of ways that we can arrange these letters into different arrangements where the arrangement, where the order in the arrangement matters is 24. And we're using here now the expression, which you've probably seen many times before, 4 factorial. Now, for example, suppose we just had three letters to deal with, A, B, and C. We want to arrange them so that the order of the arrangement matters. So, for example, A, B, C That's not the same as C, B, A because they're not in the same order. So how many different ways can we arrange these? And of course it's just 3 factorial or 6 different arrangements and this would be up to the 6 different ways that we could arrange those 3 letters. Okay, so again this is another pretty simple demonstration of the fundamental counting principle. Let's consider something a little bit more complicated. Let's ask this question. If how many different ways can we permute all the letters of the alphabet? Now instead of having three letters or four distinct letters to deal with, now we have 26 different letters to deal with. So of course the total number of arrangements is 26 factorial. Of course that's 26 times 25 times 24 times 23 so forth all the way down to times 1. So needless to say that's a huge number. Let's ask this question. If we consider all these different um, 26 permutations that's possible to make with our alphabet, in these 26 permutations how many times for example would we have the letter X preceding say the letter C. So as you're reading it from left to right you encounter X before you encounter the letter C. How many times did that happen? Well, if we think about it there's no reason why X should be preferably somewhere on the left of C or somewhere to the right of C. Um, it should be the same probability in each case. So in order to have X preceding C being somewhere on the left hand side of C, that would just simply be 26 factorial divided by 2. Now let's ask this question though. Suppose that we don't want to have X just preceding C but we want X to be immediately on the left hand side of C, like this. So if we're permuting the alphabet, we're getting 26 factorial number of permutations. How many of them would have X immediately to the left hand side of C? The way we answer this kind of a problem is we consider, since these are put together, so to speak, we consider them as one object only. So that means then that we only have 25 letters to permute. And therefore, the number of times that X and C are hooked together, so to speak, as a pair is 25 factorial. So, this is just another demonstration of how we can use the counting principle and also to introduce uh, how we're going to be using factorials later on. We have a more complicated problem prepared, but I don't think we're going to have time to go through it in this video. Come back and join us in the next video 
we're going to consider another permutation problem that's going to be a little bit more complicated than the ones that we've encountered so far.